Human hair is a natural fiber which is structured by keratin protein. Because of the structure of amino placement and other compound placement, human hair took long time like 10 years or maybe 100 years to decomposition. Decomposition is heavily affected by the environment in which it occurs. While moths, microbes, rodents and insects do not eat hair. Without good systematic ways, it creates bad environmental matters like dump, increase the nitrogen concentration in the water bodies, causing problem of eutrophication, and also it produces full odor and toxic gases. Therefore, people tend to burn waste here, but it also provides toxic gases to environment. This fiber continuously adding to the nature because it grown by human body. An only average hair waste of an individual adult is about 100 grams by hair cuts and during combing. In 2020, if we calculate the approximate waste hair of adults in Sri Lanka, it is about 144,000 kilograms. If we consider the population of Sri Lanka, it is gradually getting increased. It points out the waste hair getting added to the environment is also getting increased with the time. It takes at least 10 years to decompose waste hair. The figure beside the graph shows how these waste hair remain in the environment even for the next decade. According to survey which I have done, salon owners take hair to wig making but 80% of hair burn. Normal population follows many disposal methods. But most of the countries have identified the unique properties of hair. Therefore, they use waste hair for different approaches without adding to the environment as a waste. These are the unique properties of hair. These are the human hair used products which done by other countries. When consider the human hair usages, there are three types. Type 1 is sink to nature, type 2 is possible to recycle and type 3 is difficult to recycle and decompose. When focused to type 1 users, 46% of them use for agricultural uses. Then I move to my design approach. Therefore, I consider type 1 agricultural field because it has nitrogen-rich organic fertilizer, pest repellent quality, weed repellent quality and water adsorb quality. Focus to the ethical considerations in Sri Lanka, satisfaction level to give life and nutrition to plant from waste yeah, 89% of them are very satisfied. I have narrowed down my design approach to most problematic problem in Sri Lanka. As a solution for deforestation, Forest Department of Sri Lanka conduct reforestation programs in wet zone, dry zone and upcountry. But in dry zone, 25 to 40% of plants die after planting. Reason for that is weed competition because of less maintaining and it costs to less nutrition for soil and competition for sunlight. Considering that point, I have selected my context in dry zone, well aware area to give solution for reforestation problem. These are the recommended plant for this area by forest department. Then I frame my challenge considering about hair quality to create planting container and weed repellent cover for forest plants in dry zone Valavai area, which can be provide proper root growing in planting nursery and become nutrition for soil after planting. Then I develop my concept return to nature. Then I started my design development stage. In my design development stage, there are two main parts, material experiments and product development. Then I started my material experiments. Therefore, initially I identified the available hair length in Sri Lanka. And this is the main process, washing, drying, sorting and storing. 
Then my initial experiment start with a wet felted method. Reason to experiment on this is low weight of hair movable and after adding soap water it can easily handle. These are some sample which done by different amount of hair. In overall I have done several experiments with material and I identified the qualities of developed material. Then I identify the previous container sizes, issues and how it appear in context. Then I identify the design considerations. All selected plants are dicot plants and they have tap roots therefore they go deep into the soil. Then I started my design development with concept 1, weed repellent cover attached with the same container. These are my initial sketches under the concept 1. Then I identify the taproot need taller containers. These are the reference for that. Then I prototype with selected container. Then I move to my design consideration checklist and red color po points out difficult to achieve. From that point I develop concept 2 considering these material qualities removable part from container as a weed repellent cover. In here I continue the tall container idea. This idea developed as vertical separate body with separate base. Then I developed the, another idea with horizontal separate body to Then I identified the issues in design checklist and move to concept 3 separate weed repellent cover. In here also continue with the tall container idea. Then I identify the about the drainage hole can reduce the height of the container because drainage encourage air pruning and reduce root deformation when root meet the air it stop the growing until plant in flow. Considering the holding method I develop different textures on container as well as inside embossed textures can reduce the root deformation then I minimize the textures to these factors then I identify round shape can deform the tap roots then I move to type square shape to reduce the root deformation from that container can balance itself here are some negative and positive points between round and square shaped containers. Round shaped container has continuous circular path. It caused root deformation like root bending and coiling. Then I identified the natural fiber has air exchanging quality. It helps to reduce the deformation problem. The product developed with the natural fiber therefore naturally it has air flowing system. It helps to reduce root deformation because of the good air flowing, no need of extra develop based for container. After minimize the design, I identify with the development of folding method, it can reduce the storage space. Then I identify when make the form with real material container deform after folding. I started to find solution for using developed materials. Initially I ideate with apply paper pulp and hair mat. Then I ideate to apply non-toxic paraffin wax for two sides of container surface and make the two surface and edges hard not to deform the container and keep two sides within flexible quality to fold it. Our design started consider the selected container design. Here I identify the height and holding methods. Sizes identify with the experiments. Hole size identify with the experiments considering balance, strength, plant height, suitable as a weed repellent cover. Applying non-toxic paraffin wax increase the strength around the hole. So let's move on to the design details of planting container. Container can contain 1100 milliliter volume which suitable for 8 months of nursery growing. Height of the container is 170 millimeters, upper length is 100 millimeters and lower length is 70 millimeters. Edges have 5 millimeter fillet to maintain the manufacturing. 
tape square shape guidance for downward growing of roots and reduce root deformation thickness of the container 4 mm identify with experiments tape square shape maintain the distance between plants in upper 100 mm and lower 30 mm space for air flowing natural fiber exchange the air and maintain the drainage and root air prone with the wall Two solid walls and two flexible walls help to maintain the form as well as maintain the foldable and stackable quality. With maintain the form, it maintain the root growing also. Easy to handle with the form. Material surface work as a grip. Less storage and transport space. When transport from nursery to context, it also easy to place the container without damage to plant. Weight of the container is 25 gram. It is easy to handle and durable more than 8 months. Material were human waste hair and non-toxic clear paraffin wax. So let's move on to the design detail of feed repellent cover. The size of the cover is 530 mm length and 450 mm width. Size of the middle hole is 80 mm. Holding hole 70 mm and 30 mm. Thickness of the cover is 4 mm and weight is 75 grams. Materials are human waste hair 50% and biodegradable paper pulp 50% and non toxic paraffin wax. It is strength enough to hold 900 grams. Applying biodegradable paper pulp helps to reduce hair usage 50%. It helps to manufacture more products and also it not more interact with soil. So it reduce decomposition time and keep more than one year. Applying non-toxic paraffin wax helps to make hard around the hole. It is easy to handle as a container holder and weed repellent cover. Less space for transport and storage. Cover is not moved from the plant because of the metal hole. Let's move on to the manufacturing technology. Container manufacturing was challenging part in my project because considering man material quality and suitable form for root defined the selected form. From experiment I developed the manufacturing method. Step 1 is manufacturing similar thickness hair mat and the step 2 is applying it on the mold and create form. This tray has developed specially for weed repellent cover design. The depth is prepared according to need thickness 4 mm of hair mat. These are the steps which I followed to develop the mat. This is the overall product visualization. After outplanting to decompose the container in one year duration need this Fungi species 28.84 mg. It calculated and selected with expertise advisors. These are the environmental impacts. It provides positive long time impacts. When consider the cost, if we collect 1000 kg of hair, it can create 16,000 units. Therefore, 25 rupees for container and 35 rupees for cover. This can reduce after establish the system. As a new material industry for Sri Lanka, I develop system for process. Project objectives are create human hair decomposition path, use human waste hair as a productive material.
and this is the project summary these are my references thank you